What you're seeing on your screen is a live view of the Dragon capsule returning back to Earth. And there you can see the drogue parachutes have deployed and a cool view from the capsule itself. Shortly after, we should see the four main chutes deploy here. Visual on two healthy drogues and descent rate nominal. And excellent call outs there. We'll see the same marker. And we do have com visual confirmation that the drogues have deployed. Now just waiting for the four main parachutes to deploy as well. And there you can see on your screen, four mains have deployed. They will begin to slowly open up and help slow the vehicle, vehicle down. 600 meters. 600. And we're just a couple minutes away from splashdown. Landing in water is simpler, therefore more reliable than uh, landing on land. And there you can see an awesome view. It's beautiful. <laughs> the Dragon capsule, Dragon Freedom, carrying AX3 as it's 400. slowly making its way to splashdown. Now, these are absolutely fantastic views that we got um, at acquisition of Signal, Jesse. It was incredible coming back from AOS to see those good comm checks, those good visual confirmations of the vehicle coming in, and then the visual confirmations of the first drogue shoots, which deployed beautifully, and followed by the main shoots. And additionally, we got to see crew even rotate their seats to prepare for splashdown. All of these are 200. Crew braced for splashdown. Copy, braced for splashdown. Copy splashdown. We are with you in 4.800. Copy. And an excellent sight to see. Welcome home, AX3. Arthur, all the observations from. Some excellent views of the Dragon capsule there. The SpaceX recovery ship and team have been waiting for Dragon Splashdown, and they will now begin to make their way to the Splashdown SpaceX location. Confirm environmental assessment is not necessary. SpaceX confirms, not necessary. It's a beautiful early morning for Splashdown. The weather is looking fantastic. The uh, the local environment is looking fantastic for crews to to perform these operations, right? We mentioned earlier that this is really a safety critical. That nest, um, we saw that it was uh, near the end uh, of the ship. It will actually slide forward uh, to position itself next to a platform, uh, which will be level with the hatch. So when they open the hatch, the astronauts can egress uh, into the ocean for the recovery <laughs> crew, completing their rigging operations. And Dragon Freedom being lifted onto recovery vessel Shannon. I love that they mentioned to brace for the lift. Yeah. <laughs> you could see that the vehicle is, is moving and swaying a little bit, yeah. but I'm sure it's, it was nothing compared to re-entry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And crews had a lot of dynamic operations associated with today, and this is one of the final ones. There's a few more that have to go into play before they're back on land. Um, but this, this moment of getting them finally back out of the water and into this nest situated while they're comfortable um, is a wonderful moment for the AX3 crew. Yeah, this gives you a good view of that hatch that the crew is going to egress from. Um, you can see that it's pretty much in the middle of the capsule. So moving it towards the platform, that platform will be just at the bottom of that hatch. 
That hatch has been closed mm -hmm. since they left Earth. Mm -hmm. Dragon SpaceX, welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing final checks. Stand by for translation to the egress platform.